Welcome back everybody to Oregon Springs here on Farming Simulator 17. Ah, uh, there's one happy horse. Been running constantly. It's your host, Will. Uh, not the most. Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. We're going to get in our 6R here, folks. And I really shouldn't be recording this episode. But I just feel that uh, there's a few things I need to do before I actually go into uh, a harvest. First, we need to get this thing emptied if we haven't done it already. Let's see. Wheat, barley, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, fertilizer, seeds, forage, pig food. Okay, so it's empty. We need to get rid of it. Oop, wrong one. Oh, yeah. By the way, there's great demand. 2,379,000 liters or dollars, you know, uh, for soybeans at the train station. We don't have none. No soybeans. What the uh, freckles? Anyway, we gonna get rid of, of this uh, crane bin here. We might be getting rid of a lot of other stuff that we don't need. Wait, did I just see two chainsaws? See, one we need two chainsaws, but they were fixing the break, I think. So, what am I going after? Oh yeah, that little building. Not building tank. Whoa. I got two. Whew, I'm glad it let me do that. Alright, we want to get rid of this one. Right here. Yep, that's one we want to get rid of. Yes. Okay. And let's see what else we got. I think everything else is going to be okie dokie for now. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Now you might add, ask, uh, how are you going to get the grain out of that? Well, we're going to need another auger. Um, to get it out, we're going to have to turn around turn it around or vice versa uh, just buy another one so I thought about buying another one yeah, I need to get my uh, let's park this out of the way we don't need this right now since we got that taken care of let's park it right here I'm glad those chickens are trying to stay in there um, let's go see what they need I didn't look but I forgot they need water. Okay, 338 chickens. Let's go get them some water. We're going to have to fix and do some bailing or something, make some money. I was going to show. Yeah, let's get that up. Um, also, let's look at this. Uh, we done got everything planted, folks, so look how many days we got to go. Before, you know, we can still plant, but we don't have the fields to plant. Everything's planted. So we got a lot of days to go before we can even harvest. <sighs> I think nine days is a little bit too much on this map, but we, we're going to stick with it. Um, as you can see, nine days right there and everything's on Fahrenheit. Um, we don't have no soybeans. Um... I'm going to get this over here so it'll be filling the chickens up. Um, make sure I don't run over none. This one here is real tricky. Right there. Alright, while I was doing that, let's check and see. We do have wheat and barley. So I thought about getting, I don't know how much is in that grain tank. Uh, I thought about just pulling out all the wheat for the chickens. 
uh, and put it in the grain tank and then remove the auger. See, that's done. Oh, 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 oh. I thought I ran over him. Okay, dokie. Um, why ain't I getting a water symbol? Uh, auto save. All right, let's do this again. Can I not fill it from that side? Oh crap, no wonder. It's on my front bucket. Oops. Alright, uh, sheep's doing pretty good. We have uh, one little bale in our four bale carrier there. Um, yeah, that's where our bales look like up here. So, uh, but I don't think we got any cows. Do we? Nope. There's 16 sheep. Uh, cows, we need some power food, which we got. Need some water down here. So we're going to put in a water faucet, looks like. And uh, get a mixer down here and a water tanker. So we're probably going to have to. Ooh, I got to wash this thing off. Let's do that while I'm thinking. But yeah, um, this is probably going to be a, a short episode, probably uh, another seven minutes or so. I kind of just jumped into recording, wasn't thinking. All right, that's good. Let's put this baby on up in the shed here. Um, gonna have to get the AR put on the mower and um, we probably could rent the big big M but we can't rent that one because uh, well y'all seen the <laughs> no creek farms now, this sucker here is kind of big I don't know if it's gonna fit in the shed or not might be just a piece of equipment I have to leave outside. I don't know yet. Well, it looks like it might fit if I can get in there just right. Oh, I don't need you right now. Now we're going to fit. Got clearance on that side, clearance on this side. My oh boy, it's tight. Woo. Woo. That was tight. Good. Okay, let's see what we're looking like right there. Looks pretty good that way. I ain't got a spotter to tell me when to back up or when to stop backing up. Let's see, that looks good about right there now we gotta go around and get the mower ah oh, who's drive with the stern wheel up come on man. there we go much better 
Ooh, see how that lifted that front end down? A lot of weight right there. Can I get out the door like this? Oh yeah. I don't want to fold it quite yet. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know if I got that new rake in here or not, but it should might be. Uh, now I'll be under this. Uh, that's what we got right now. That's what we had on no creep. Uh, this. Well, that mile an hour to 15 mile an hour. I, I'd like to try this. Oh man, look at that. Huh. Let's have Morgan come and get that. There he is. Oh, 48,000, we don't get that much for it. We might just be best to take that up there. We got some irons on it. So that'd be what we'll do. Um, so let's go ahead and fold up these two. Uh, why ain't we folding up? Fold up, there we go. Yeah, see, we got all these tines and stuff laying around over there when I use them. Alright, let's fold you up. Be nice we could use it like that. Alright. This guy needs to go to the shop so we can drop that rake off. So we try the other rake. So, um. Let's see if we got uh, a uh, farm to store right there. Farm to store. And see, so let's drive course. No, no, stop, drive, stop. Oh, Lordy. Uh, that's my bad. I had it on work position. And it should have been transport. Farm to store, drive course, stop at last trigger. And we got Jason taking that load, okay. Oh, uh, not load, but you know what I mean. Um, what is this A or nine R? This is nine R T. Mm, let's see here. What am I looking for? All right, the cultivator put away. We got the auger wagon put away. Let's go ahead and close this door. That way we know we can't put that now, sir. Uh, we got our disc behind that and a rogator there. And we need to do something with this stuff. See, we got a bucket right here. And these couple of things. If we're not going to use them, we need to put them away, right? Right. Let's go ahead and get this sheet cleaned up right here. There we go. Just in case. Yeah. Yeah, I know, buddy. Um, how much wheat did I say we had? 62 hours for the next sheet. 840,000 loan. We get bad on these loans, ain't we? Um, there's twenty two thousand wheat left. So let's take the six R and go get that. And that's the field that we just recently purchased. And that's our mission field. We can't buy it. But, uh, here lately we ain't been having a, a mission either. 
Alright, I'm gonna get my truck off. No, I'm gonna leave my truck there. I gotta watch out for Jason. I think, yeah, he done got down the road. But, uh, yeah, all the fields are planted. Uh, so, basically, it's lay-by time. Oh, well, Jason's at the shop. That was pretty quick. Now, our wheat's going to be for chickens, and the barley is going to be for uh, our seed master right there. And we need to get all of our trailers and trucks lined up, ready for harvest. But that's a couple of videos to come. So I'm going to start the beat. And let me shut this motor off. That won't overfill because there ain't that much there to overfill. So we're going to stop driver, close all that out. And we're going to drop off the back one. Yeah, the target zone here. We're going to go sell this bad boy. 35,886. See, it's worth bringing it to the market. We're going to sell. Yes. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to buy this other one. So, what we got? 36, I think, what I said. And this one's 15. So, actually, you know, pretty good deal. This works right. Buy. Yes. Okay. And all right. And there's our future toy. <laughs> I call it a toy. Not really a toy, but you, you know how it goes. Farmers buy a piece of equipment it's like a kid in a candy store. Let's go ahead and unfold this bad boy. Ah, oh, okay. Thing's pretty wide. Now, the question is, is it as wide as the mower? I didn't shake that. Let's go to mowers real quick. That is 8.4. Now this is no telling. Okay. Oh, uh, wrong one. Put that down. I think the mower is going to be a little bit wider. Do we have any adjustments on? Oh. Oh, no. We got three missing things on this. Let's see. B is what? ups and raises X X folds it okay well maybe we can work with those it might be all right we're just gonna have to give it a try um, let's see here let's go ahead and fold it up fold this one up and this one up oh no nothing's already folded All right. We're just going to have to try it and see, folks. Um, I guess till next time, folks, I'm going to get all this ready and down to the cows for them. Let's see, i got to go back this way. Yeah. I'm going to go to the field. 
can't already see it here because thing right there where it says OS Garden Center. And it's right across the road from there, so. But anyway, we won't go there. And what it is, is the cow pasture we're going to be mowing. And, uh, hopefully time we get mowed, all the rest of others will be ready to mow. So, yeah. At least this thing's, uh, I, don't know. I was going to take these duels off, take them it. I guess it'll help hold everything up. Alright, the field right here to our right is what we're going to be doing. And it looks mighty big. But we get still got to get the 6R, get the baler down here, and the flatbed, and get one of our tractor trucks hooked up to it. So, still a lot of work to do. And uh, I guess next episode, uh, or that you want to be straight to Balin. You gotta get some money built up, give us some harvesters, and get ready for a harvest. So, um, let me park this thing out of the road. I do want to show one thing. So, our baler's already down here. We just gotta park right here. And uh, we're going to run across the road over here. I don't know if I put this thing in or not. Uh-oh, choo-choo train coming through. Uh, no, I did not. Oh, no, no, no. Duh. I put it over here, didn't I? <laughs> I can't remember the things I do, folks. Yeah. Our flat bed's already hooked up, so that's good, too. We just got our bales. I think we got enough for us to start some cows. I really do, but we just don't have the money for it. So we'll get our sheep spilled up first and go from there. But uh, let's see here. I'm going to park this guy right here. And uh, all we need is our 6R, it looks like. And uh, we'll leave our 9R there. Uh, he's alright. Where's our 6R? Oh, here we are. Yep. Um, that's all the wheat we have. Like I said, we're going to save the barley for seeds. We're going to be making some seeds to you probably. So yeah, that's going to conclude it. I'm going to put this into that grain bin. And then I'm going to move the auger around. I would leave this in here, but I'm... You know, I'm running seasons, so the weather might have something to do with it over time, and I don't want to lose none or take a chance of losing any. So that is why I'm going to put in the ground pan. And just more realistic, too, folks. Um, I didn't even turn my flashers on. But anyway, till next time, folks. Thank you for watching, and I want to thank each and every one of y'all for all the love and support. I couldn't ask for a better family. Now, also, there's no uh, no pressure, but if y'all feeling generous, I'm going to go ahead and feed these while I'm here, but if y'all feeling generous, that's if y'all feeling generous, <laughs> I got a PayPal account, and uh, if y'all want to help support my channel or equipment and stuff uh, okay there we go just be uh, there's a link down below in the description also plus all my other media is down there all right they ain't low enough for straw yet so they good they good they know they're good but anyway yeah all my other links and stuff's down below in the description so uh, Y'all take a gander at that, plus all the other YouTubers that's
help supporting me and uh, and this and that's down there too so uh, let's see if the thing's going to work there it goes awesome that's just awesome sauce Now, I don't know if I need a tractor or not getting this out. So, that's going to be the question for next episode. So, until then, folks, y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later.